Hey everyone, welcome back to this awesome channel. I hope you are doing good. And friends, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, then please go and click that subscribe button. So friends, in this video, we will learn how to design a stopwatch in React. Uh, what has happened is one of my friends got interviewed in Amazon and he was asked to design like build a simple stopwatch and it should contain a basic functionality like the stopwatch should work. It should have like two button. Uh, one should be start the stopwatch and another one to stop the stop stopwatch. So let's see how we can do it. So friends, um, let's start coding. So what we can do is, uh, let's suppose this is a simple uh, React file uh, basically. And what we can do is first start thinking like what would be our approach. So first of all, we need a timer, the stopwatch timer that should like go on incrementing. So what we can do over here, simple, um, let's write stopwatch and provide it the format something like 0 colon 0 0 cool over here what we can do is we can provide it two buttons like one one button will be the start button and another one will be the stop button cool now friends what will be our next step we will be like going step by step so so what else we can do is we can now create the handler also like on click on click handle start for this one and handle stop for this one Similarly, we have to create handle stop. Cool. So friends, what we have done is we have created a small structure that is we have created button and we have created this timer. It is hard coded. We are going to cool. So friends, this is what our JSX looks like stopwatch and start stop button with their respective handlers. Now what we are going to do now think uh, the functionality is something like we will be needing a time also. So for that, we are going to keep the state. Let's suppose time comma set time. And this is the time that we are going to uh, like, it will get incremented after every 10 milliseconds. So you state and initially let's give it null. Cool. So friends, what else we need? Let's import it. Cool. So friends, we have you state from react. Now one more thing that we'll be needing is use effect, use effect. No, actually we do not need use effect right now. Why? Because we are, um, our stopwatch will not start on its own. It will be started when we will click on the button. So we have to code inside this handle start. So set interval, set interval, we'll be using set interval and it will take a callback function. Okay. After here like after uh, 10 milliseconds, we will be incrementing the stopwatch after 10 milliseconds, updating it every, after every 10 milliseconds, cool. So set time. So what will be the set time is the current date that is date dot now. So whatever be the current date, it will get updated after every 10 milliseconds. So friends, uh, this will, what it will do is it will increase, it will start incrementing, updating the time. So what we can do over here is we can see cool. we can provide the time over here. Let's see what we get now. So this is the functionality that we are getting currently. I will be, I will be building, I will be coding this stopwatch like we used to do in interview, like step by step. I'm not going to provide the final product in the beginning. So friends, we have to also provide the functionality to the stop the, uh, like watch. So what we are going to do is now we will be needing a ref interval ref using use ref. Its initial value give it null and provide use ref. Cool. Now friends, what we are going to do, we are going to store this ID that we are getting from the set interval inside this use ref and then we are going to actually not inside the ref inside the ref dot current and similarly what we can do over here is we can do is interval ref dot current 
and friends how we are going to clear it we are going to clear it using clear interval cool using this we can perform the stop functionality also let's see so are this much functionality is working fine now what we are going to do next so friends this is not the stopwatch this is starting but stopwatch is uh, what is stopwatch basically like let's suppose at any moment when you start the stopwatch then it starts showing the current difference from the time when you have started it so we have to make it something like that actually whenever i will start the stopwatch it should get started from the beginning like basically from the start and this is not how st uh, stopwatch is displayed it is displayed from zero so how we are going to do that so friends this is the time that is getting incremented and this will be the time that will be the now like from now the time from which you are starting the stopwatch you are clicking the button start button so give it null so what we will be doing is we will whenever we will be clicking on uh, st handle start what we are going to do is sets time and do or is dead dot now dead dot now cool and similarly what we can do is set now and dead dot now cool so friends now what we have to do is we have to provide the difference now what will be the difference is let time that has been passed is equals to this is the current time and this is the time that will always be in updating so it will always be greater than the past time so we have to do is time minus now cool and now friends the time that we are going to get we have to display it over here something like this so we are getting zero let's see cool so friends now what we are going to do is we have to divide it by a thousand so earlier it's in millisecond now we got in seconds now friends what we have to do is let's have a look once more um, time passed cool now let's start it cool so we are getting it like this stop it so friends what else we have to do is what else we have to do so we have to display it so to display it properly we have to format it to 3 and let's see how it looks cool uh, it looks cool now let's start it so our stopwatch is started so uh, the milli we are getting the seconds the seconds that have been passed cool now we are stopping it now uh, whenever we will clicking on start it i hope you can see that uh, right now two seconds have been passed from the time when it was started when you again click on start it will start from now it will get reset to zero first and then it has started so this is the functionality so friends to tell you that when to use state and when to use ref you have to use state when that particular piece of information that you are storing you want it to re-render the component then you should be using the state but when you want to simply store the information that has to be used by some event handler or that information should not re-render your component then you can show store that piece of information inside the ref like we have stored over here so friends this is how like whenever you have been asked to code a stopwatch in any interview so this is how you can go ahead stop by a uh, step by step sorry uh, like this first first code a simple ui a simple structure then you can go on adding the functionality step by step so this is the final functionality final working functionality so friends what you can do is as a homework you can also add one reset button over here to reset the stopwatch cool so friends uh, this is the code let's go through it once more we have a simple state uh, that is storing the time that will get updated after every 10 milliseconds and this is the time from the current time from which we have clicked on the stopwatch like start button and this is the ref that will be storing the id for set interval and on handle start click we are like updating the time after every 10 milliseconds over here we are it's the stop functionality where we have cleared the interval and this is the time pass that we are showing and this is the simple ui 
so friends i hope the code that we have done that we have written is clear to you all and you have all got to learn something new from this video and friends if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching